my name is Tom Webb. I'm the hydroelectric power plant superintendent for Sam Rayburn and the R.D. Willis power plants. Um, I'm also the Piney Woods Regional Hydropower Business Line Manager. Uh, Sam Rayburn, uh, they started construction in 1956 here, but they started the, the deliberate impoundment of the reservoir in 1965. Uh, in fact, this plant was commissioned in, in, in 1965. Sam Rayburn is a flood storage reservoir. At uh, Conservation Pool, which is 164.4, we've got about a, right at 114,000 surface acres of water. Sam Rayburn is the master station for hydropower operations in the Fort Worth District. So there are three hydropower plants in the Fort Worth District. One is at Whitney Power Plant, located in Central Texas. We've got the one here at Sam Rayburn and the R.D. Willis plant. Those two plants are operated remotely from here, and of course the operators operate this plant as well. So these, this, is, this serves as the, the master station as far as operations goes for all three plants. If I, if I introduce myself to someone and, and they ask what I do, and I, you know, I tell them I'm the manager of a hydropower plant, a lot of them don't understand that concept. What is that? What do you do? We take the force of water, the hydraulic height, the hydraulic force of water, to turn a turbine. It's a generator and then it creates electric power. Hydropower is unique. I use the four R's. Number one, we're reliable. I can come on and be on and, and, and be, these units are, are rated at 50 megawatts, 25 megawatts a piece and we have two. So I can bring them on and have 50 megawatts on the line in 10 minutes. I can take them offline in, in less time than that. As long as we've got fuel, which is a water source, we can, we can generate. Renewable. Evaporation will take water off whatever and then goes up into the clouds, the clouds create rain, it rains, and we refill our fuel source. I mean, it, it's constant. That brings me into relevant. This past February, during the winter event, uh, winter storm Uri, hydropower became very relevant. You know, I'm a firm believer that the hydropower plants helped create and maintain and sustain that power system from completely failing. Hydropower is extremely relevant. Uh, I really don't know what our nation's power supply would do without hydropower. And so, so the fourth R is ready. Are we ready? This is an example. In 2005, Hurricane Rita gave us a, a surprise. There were certain areas of, of Southeast Texas that were without power for 40, 45 days, 50 days. But we were called upon by the uh, utilities and the state and all of Southeast Texas, some of these towns, to come online and and pretty much restart the, the restore the power system. So when I say we're ready, ever since then it's almost been an expectation, you know. So we are ready. So we try to have multi, uh, multiple contingency plans built to where we can meet the needs of the public and the people that we serve on a daily basis. Nationwide, uh, there are 75 core of engineer power plants. The federal hydropower contributes about up to about 7% of power supply for the nation. But just the Corps of Engineer Federal Hydropower is about 72 billion kilowatt hours per year. The deal is, first and foremost, we're a flood control project here. And, uh, and we're going to store water and we're going to do exactly what we're supposed to do. The, the significance of what we do is not known until we do it. But when it comes time to step up and, and do our part, whether it's to save today of giving somebody some power or whether it's to store water and do what we're supposed to do and everybody take all these different actions and go on 24-hour shifts, we do it. And, and in terms of team, man, I've got a tremendous team, tremendous team. The operator staff consists of five operators. Uh, they work 12-hour shifts, around the clock, 24-hour uh, day operation, constant, non-stop. It's kind of the nerve center for the hydropower operations for the for the district. I've got a couple of administrative type staff. I've got one admin person. Um, and then I've also got a maintenance control specialist. 
three mechanics, I'll have two electricians, and I've got one electronics guy. They're responsible for all electrical, all electronic, and all mechanical maintenance, top to bottom. The hydropower team is typically a very close-knit, family-like atmosphere team. It's a phenomenal reservoir. Uh, you've got the, the piney woods of East Texas. We love to hunt and fish. Um, we're just good old country people, and we like to, you know, live in our rural areas and, and uh, come to work and do our job, provide for our families, uh, serve the American people and the public, and then go home.